Okay, how to delete a file? <clears throat> click on it, right click, delete. Remove reference. Only delete from my project, but leave the file on the hard disk. You know, I may have a lot of work done in it. I may change my mind, I think. So use this option. Move to trash. I'm done with it totally. Gone. Delete multiple files. Select one, click on it. Shift, hold down shift. Click on the last one and all of them will get selected. Right click, delete. Move to trash. That's how you delete them all. Now next one is how to work with frameworks. Here are the frameworks. I'm using only three in my project. There are hundreds hundreds of them that Apple provides. We do, don't want to include each and every one. My, the size of my project is going to be huge. So I only include them the one that I want. So right click the project. Actually uh, left click it. Click it again slowly. Build phases. You see, we got this user interface. Link binary with libraries. Click on this plus sign. Find it here. Let's say I want to work with audio, right? Through experience, or somebody will tell you. Audio toolbox and shift. I, I hold down the shift and clicked on the other one so I can add two at a time. Now I can import them in my header file and such. So that's how you work with frameworks. Organizing the groups. So if you've seen how we organize the groups and how we uh, sort the files, you can just drag a file and you know reorder them or move it one from one group into another. So now it ends up in there. So move it back in here. So that that's what you can do with that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Now we're talking about Git. G I T. Uh, like in uh, you know GIT right here it can do several things for you you know whether you are working all by yourself and you want to get a little bit more advanced or if you're working as a part of the team now, if you're working as a part of the team mostly there's a project leader and they have set it up they have set up a server they, have, they give you procedures they give you different things that you need to uh, get to connect get connected and rules and regula regulations so that depends on your project lead but if you are working by yourself you want to know some things that are common to wherever you go whether you are working by yourself or in a project lead like how you what, what does that actually mean how many things can you do what's been added what's been modified uh, how do you check in how do you check out how you compare revisions and where is everything at so you, there are some things that you really want really want to know and we will go over these things uh, right now so you can use Git locally without having to get into complication of setting up a server and blah blah blah. So very first thing you do is how do you get Git over there? Now as you start a new project in Xcode, you will see that option. So let's go and start a file new project. And of course you pick anyone. We've been working with single view application. Now here you type in a name. Next option, click next. Here, you see it says source code control. Create a local Git repository for this project. Now you click on that one and then you will get it. It will be integrated right in there. So that's all you got to do. I have already done that. Right here is, is my local Git test project. Now once you have that, you can see that in organizer, <coughs> repositories, you find your project. Uh, scroll down and a local git test now you see you don't uh, you will see right here now here's a little trick over there if you don't see anything over here click on local git test then you will see it then you go back here then you will see it over here too so that's a little trick maybe there's a bug in the system or something but uh, it types you what type it is its type is git where it's located and there's a little code Every time you check in a, a revision, it, it comes with a unique identifier, <clears throat> four files modified, and you know timestamp. And then uh, you have a little arrow. If you expand it, you will see different things, and you can view changes. And then you know it'll show you the differences. This is uh, 
you know, <clears throat> between one and two. So that's one of some some of the things that are going on over here. Now let's start back. I am going to open up this file app delegate m and I'm going to make a little change to it and I'm gonna call it a comment I'm gonna put a comment in there I'm gonna check that is say save it now, as soon as I do that a little m appears these are little things that you need to know it means it's been modified now if I was to add a new file to it let's add a new file any file in a hurry we'll add it here the file has been added and you see an A next to it it means it's been added and you see another M appear to your project your project's been modified if you had it you can see right here that it's been modified something happened in it and then you expand it you know something's been added now if I was to go file source code control commit you know it'll show me what the changes are um, commit four files you know this has been modified if I click here it says you know you can see what the changes are and you can either you know at that point say okay don't commit them discard changes or all those kind of things these are things that you know you gotta know anyway commit four files Commit message is required you see that's what I wanted to show right down there you can type on a message saying I am making so such and such change commit four changes and all those things are gone now you are starting you have nothing you are starting with a clean slate now if I go back to organizer local git test now I have uh, one two and three of them October 8th I made those changes and today I made these changes if I go down, I see can, I, I modified this file, I modified the project, and I, had, I added two files. Well, I, I added one file, and it had the header file and the M file. So that's why two files were added. So don't get confused there. I can see who's been making changes and what kind of change it was made. You see, this is, we added, I added a comment, old file on the right side, new file on the left side. Click down. I can you know do different actions uh, discard changes and things like that here's that message that appeared now let's uh, get out of here and look at um, app delegate M right this is the file we did and down below it has three different views one is a comparison view it'll compare um, now if I compare I'm in both sides I'm seeing the same thing if like the, if I click down here you see local revision which is the same on 1012 what I had and on uh, 108 what did I have you see now on 108 I did not have that so now I, I can uh, so there's one thing going on this menu right here and this pop-up right there the other one a, a view is the I think the blame view. If you look at it, you can see who who's been committing changes, and you can find out you know who's been doing what, so you can blame them. <laughs> and then we have the log view. You can go in there and see different logs. It keeps logs on you know each each revision, initial commit. Then I typed in a message a second time uh, today, and all that kind of stuff. In the modern source code, code uh, control management systems, there's no check-in or check-out where you check in and, uh, you know, I mean, uh, locking of files where you check out a file and lock it. You basically make a change, make your changes, commit your changes, and then somebody can, uh, your project leader can either go in there, look at them, and either merge them or discard them. And the reason is, if you check out a file, and you lock it and you go on vacation the other people can't do their work we have to call the administrator so th there's no file locking anymore th these days uh, the other things that a project manager if you are you need to look at is branching 
and then merging them back. So there you have it, a very quick review of what you can do with a with Git. Thanks.